Here we go then, round number one of the Centauri Solo Tech Tournament is about to get underway with round map number one being Road Tippin by Omnipods. The current local record we see on the server is held by Super Karouf, the OG Carl World uh, 2006 Track Mania World Champion with a 50.608. Currently we see that we have 46 players running on the server, so it seems as though everybody will be able to pass since uh, originally the top 48 is supposed to be able to go through into the next stage, but not enough players are, are in there to guarantee a elimination, so we're going to have to make do with all of this. Meanwhile, we see that uh, we got some pretty, uh, pretty high-profile players in the server. Oh yeah, uh, name's on, forgot about that. Yeah, exactly, thank you for reminding me of doing that. Uh, so yeah, we've got Danik B in here. We've got Danik B playing on the server. We've got Sky. We also got Masa in the server. We've got Pack as well. We've got a bunch of uh, really high profile players that have joined in. We've got Coco. We've got um, Dutchie. Yeah, we've got some pretty good, some pretty, um, a pretty good field out here today for this very first round. So, warm up ended. Good luck and have fun, people. It's about to get started. 20 rounds total. Four rounds on this map, and we're starting with round number one right away, and we're going to be spectating. Let's see. Do we have anyone here? We're going to be spectating Gato from Orcs Grand Poitier. So, let's start right here with a U-turn, well negotiated by almost all the players, even though there was someone that was actually left uh, at the start. Ooh, draw G-line here by one of the uh, Ombra guys, who unfortunately... Uh, was not really able to do well. One of the BDG guys hit the wall as well, and towards the top, it's the Masa Cap and uh, Dragon Mac Cap. Actually, I said that makes a mistake and thus drops out of the top eight. Meanwhile, Coco still in the top eight and trying to uh, make some positions compared to the leaders. Currently, it's Masa and ZK currently in first and second. Then we've got Dutchy trying to make something in third, but he makes a little bit of a mistake. So now it's Magorion inheriting top two and Masa as well. I completely forgot about that. And thus it's ZK who inherits the lead. Magorion second, Dutchy third, Waldo fourth, and we got Pack also re-emerging in the fight as well. And through the drop down, we. Go nicely done. It seems as though ZK is on course to win the first round here and draw first blood and take the 500 points for the win. ZK first, Magorian second, Dutchy third, Pack fourth, Coco, Danik B, Ben, and Roda complete the top eight. All right, Zach. Okay. Sorry, I'm not really familiar with some of the names that we've seen so far. So, yeah, be, bear with me here, guys. So, let's actually check in with uh, one of the other players. Let's actually check in with uh, Dutchie, the Dutch player from Team Kennedy. Dutchie in the thick of the swarm right now. Let's see if he gets a good line. Yep, gets a really good line through uh, on the outside of the signs right now. He's currently sitting in P19. Right now, it's Extra leading the field in front of Magorian and Dragon Massa in P4. But Massa still retains uh, the field right now and now has passed everyone to get in the lead. Except that Extra is still putting a little bit of a fight to the German driver from International Gaming. Kronos also remains in good standing and he takes a touch. He makes a mistake and thus drops down to the depths of outside the top 20. Meanwhile, Massa is in the lead. One tenth of a second in front of Zack uh, in second place as we head closer and closer toward the end. Zack in second place. Can he make something happen? Ben is it just behind him in third place, but Ben is about to get swarmed by the rest of the players right here. Massa will win round two here with a time of 50.890. Zack second, Magorian third, Dutchie fourth, Pack, Nero, Ben, and Sky complete your top eight for round two. So Zach still retaining first place with 975, Massa up to P5 with 850 points. Meanwhile, Coco is uh, emerging in the top eight. So uh, emerging in the top eight with uh, 795 points to his credits. Remember that uh, we're supposed to have the top 48 go through, but with only 46 players, everyone is guaranteed to get through here. So. Meanwhile, oh, Coco with a really wide line after that very after that turn three, and uh, he is down towards the depths of even the top 40 positions. Meanwhile, up in the front, it's Hugo de Sauvin, who takes first place in front of Massa, no less, and Sky, although, oh no, it's an F for Co from Hugo. He's had a disconnect, unfortunately. Meanwhile, Massa in first place in front of his compatriot Sky, and Pack in third place, now fourth, uh, just behind Zach. The 2016 World Champion trying to make some inroads onto Massa's lead and trying to pick up some valuable points here. Uh, for his uh, tally. He's currently in P4 with 885. He goes really wide. Can he actually take advantage of momentum? Matsa touching the wall and pack on the line. No, it will be Zach who wins by two thousands of a second. Zach first, pack second, Sky third, extra fourth. Mixed Mod Dragon, Siniman, Sisiman, and Massa complete your top eight. Hello, Witty. Hope you're doing well. And so Masa re-emerges into third position after that, uh, after the first few rounds. He's currently on 1255 points 
in third place. Zach is first with almost a clean sweep of uh, 1,500 points. Uh, he's on 1,475 right now. And Pac in second place is on 1,360. So yeah, the top three right here is looking pretty stacked. Zach, Pac, and Masa. Coco managed to re-emerge in P4 right now. And uh, yeah, Coco not really... Uh, uh, still hanging around in the right zone, although we see some people, other players slipping back, such as McGorn, who was a really strong, uh, really strong start, but Coco hits the wall in full stop picks. That's the end of the challenge for Coco. Meanwhile, on to Masa here. We've got a uh, pretty big lead, pretty good lead right here compared to his uh, compatriot Sissiman, even though Sissiman is trying to make something happen here. Lighty in P3 for Team Hot. Let's actually see if he gets overtaken by Sky. Yes, he will. And Masa will take the round win with a 50.882. Sissiman second. Sky third, Magorian fourth, Danik B, Extra, Mixed Mode, and Dutchie complete the top eight. And thus we are already after the four rounds of Road Trip, and then we're about to head onto map number two, which is going to be... Which is going to be... Come on... Mania Planet doing its thing. Exposito, there you go. So, second map is Exposito by Mas. The uh, local record here is held by Masa, again, with a one, uh, it's held by Masa, sorry, with a 51.267. So, quick score recap after, um, well, after four rounds. Zach in first place with 1825. Masa uh, second with 1755. Pack third with 1680. Um, Sky 4th with 1595, Nero 5th with 1535, Magorian 6th with 1532, Dutchy 6th, uh, Dutchy 7th started with 1454, Danny B 8th with 1390, Mixmon 9th with 1370, and Extra 10th with 1325. Towards the top 20 is Coco, In Lava, Kronos, Lighty, Rodor, Zittings, Angelo, Cap, Neodim, and Sissiman. So yeah, your top 8 you can see on the left-hand side of your screen below the CP Live widget and the local records as we are about to attack map number 2, Exposito by Masin and um, by Mas, sorry. And uh, yeah, currently Zach having had a really strong first pack, can he actually pull it off and uh, try to keep that phone going in the next 4 maps? We'll have to see. The first map will be, the this first uh, map out of 4 will be the judge. Here we go then. Good luck and have fun, everyone. Map 2, Exposito about to get underway, and we are going to be spectating uh, the man in the, in the sixth place. Let's actually see. Yeah, here we're going to be spectating Magorian, Polish driver from Team Elementaries. Magorian, a really nice tight start for uh, the Polish driver who managed to get second place after CP1. Massa going a little bit of a lag spike here, but uh, that's still okay for the Berlin International Gaming driver as we see someone already way behind. Massa still in charge in charge of the field. Let's actually see if we got someone ripping. Nope, no one ripped at the outside of the corner. Meanwhile, uh, Massa still holding the lead, start fast uh, in front of Pack and Coco, but Danigby is holding into the... Um, into uh, the um, the lead, and now Kronos gets a little piece of the action as well, going into the lead briefly in front of Masa, but Masa is not having any of it. Nero also getting into the mix, Sky and Pack as well. So a really tight pack for top eight here. Within a single tenth, we got ten drivers competing for the lead potentially here, and now we're seeing oh, someone actually made a mistake. And Masa, I don't know who actually it was. It has been Dutchy Rip, and Nero will get the round win with a 51.527. Zach second. Kronos third, pack fourth, Dutchy, Massa, Mixmon, and Sky. Complete your top eight. Mas or Mazin or Mazin. Okay. Okay. Sorry for uh, for the uh, butchering of some pronunciations, Mas. Really sorry about that. Anyways, round two about to get underway. There we go. We're gonna be spectating Coco, former Team Oser player, former Trackmania Grand League player. Currently in P8 after the first two CPs, ending into the U-turn right here, and still remaining into the thick of the group is uh, is Coco right now. Although right now it is Pack in the lead, going really wide and thus uh, surrendering the lead to Nero and Nixmod, who are currently leading the field on their own. Although Massa and Pack are still in that top uh, in that top battle, and oh, Massa with a bit of a lag spike again. It seems as though we got a little bit of a connection issue here for Massa potentially brewing. Let's hope it does not uh, dash his chances of advancing further into the tournament. Meanwhile, Nero is leading in front of Pack and Mixmon. Mixmon in second place, Pack in third, Pack emerging in the lead after a mistake from Nero which drops him out of the top 10 of right and Pack with a really wide line is still gonna be able to save it all the way through and take the round win in front of Masa in second place. Pack first with a 51.444, Masa second, Sky third, Cap fourth, Mix 
Next mod, Magorian Extra and Lighty complete the top 8. Does having a higher seating position helps? I do not think so, uh, Yekosto. I think as long as you're through, then you should be good. Seating position, I think, will only matter at round number 3, so... Round seven of the game. Um, round seven of the first round. Round three out of four on this map is underway. We're currently spectating Mixmuck from B Genius Masa doing a little bit of time traveling here, but that's still okay. He's still fine. He's still uh, he's still uh, zooming along with the rest of the players. I must have made a mistake that I completely did not see here. And meanwhile, it is Hugo de Sova in first place in front of Massa. There we go. The Berlin National Gaming player who touches the wall on the inside and thus drops him out of the top 35 even. And meanwhile, Hugo de Sova still in the lead in front of Neuro Sky, Zach and Magorian in top 5, Dovi 6th, Cap 7th, and Zach in top 8. Hugo still holding steadfast, although... Uh, being stand fast despite the charging uh, charge of Sky right here from Team THE. Let's see if he cracks under pressure. Hugo the Sama here from France. It seems as though he will not budge and will take round win here on round number three on Exposito. 51.398. Really nice time from uh, Hugo as well. PB on the he on his end. Magor in second. Sky third. Cap fourth. Danik B. Mix mod. Nero and extra complete your top eight. And we're already on to round number eight. The final round on map number two is getting underway, and we're going to be uh, getting a little bit of a look at the space, a bit of a look at space from Ox Grand Poitier. The Orcs GP player currently uh, staying within the thick of the group around 36th place as the result of the CP number 3, but that does not really matter at this point since everyone still remains packed within one or two tenths of each other. And uh, meanwhile at the front, oh, the no drift from space, and that's going to be pretty much uh, doing a lot of damage for his uh, challenge right there. Although Focus made a mistake, Zach as well, one of the leading drivers in this... Um, in this uh, round does not really fare well so far in this map. He's currently finding himself in 37th position as a result of a really paltry start on this round. Meanwhile, towards the front it is Pack, Cap, and Kronos in 1, 2, and 3. Kronos, having made a mistake, dropped down to P6, although Magorian and Zerum hits and Pack, Cap, what happened to him? What happened to him? He made a full stop pick and went right towards the left. And thus, Pack inherits the lead and takes the win with the 51.428. Magorian second, Dutchie third, Coco fourth. Sissiman, Rodeur, Kronos, and Dragon complete your top 8 after round number 8. On to map number 3 we go then, which is going to be Cosmic Crow by MD Point. Local record here held by Danik B with a 45.648. Quick score recap after 10 rounds. We'll recap after 8 rounds played. Massa in the lead with 31.55. Magorian second with 31.37. Pack third with 31.30. Zach fourth with 31.08. Sky fifth with 30.54. Uh, Neuro sixth with 30.40. Seventh for Dutchy with 29.54. Kronos eighth with 28.95. Extra ninth with 28.90. And Mixmo tenth with 27.87. In the top 20, Inlava, Danik B, Coco, Angelo, Cap, Lighty, Vivek, Neodim, Dittins, and Ben. So you can see, so yeah, Zach not able to really reiterate his great performance on Road Trippin on, um, uh, that he had on Road Trippin on Exposito, sorry, and thus he plummeted down from first to fourth in the space of four rounds. And meanwhile, Massa has re emerged from a somewhat shaky start in the first few rounds of, um, uh, road Trippin to get himself into first place, albeit only 18 points ahead of Magorian in second place, which we see uh, having a respawn a little bit here in the warm-up. Meanwhile, the warm-up has ended. Good luck, have fun. Map number three about to get underway. Realm 9 underway. And we're going to be spectating uh, someone that we haven't seen too much so far. I think we don't have, haven't seen any action from this guy, and it is Kronos. So, Kronos in the thick of the group after that start, someone already making a mistake touching the wall on the inside, and thus he will be out of contention. Meanwhile, Coco growing really wide, he's all over the place, Coco, and thus he will be immediately punished with the group scooting by him. Bye bye! Meanwhile, it is Danik B and Hugo de Sova in first and second place, Supap in third place, holding the big, uh, holding it uh, with the big dogs such as Massa and Hugo de Sova, as well as Danik B, meanwhile. And, um,. Let's actually see how he uh, how he fares. He currently he's uh, struggling a little bit with the bigger players coming back to haunt him, and he's currently outside of the top ten. Even meanwhile, it is Hugo de Sampa and Massa battling it out for the lead. Will Hugo be able to resist? Yes, he will. Hugo will win the round in front of Danik B. 
Hugo with a 45.923, Danik B second, Dunchy third, Masa fourth, Extra Dragon, ZK, Zack, and Magorian complete your top eight. Who's about to be ejected from this one? Well, we, it seems as though we don't have enough players to uh, warranty an elimination since top 48 is about to be, uh, since top 48 for round one was about to be eliminated. Meanwhile, round two on this map is getting underway. Hugo de Sama touching the inside wall, being a little bit too greedy on the inside, and thus he will be passed by everyone. He finds himself in 45th in last position. Meanwhile, it is extra Dutchy in back into one, one, two, and three. Kronos also getting a little bit in the mix, and also getting into the lead with Dovi in second place, Dutchy third. Dutchy holding really strong here over this uh, first part of the map. Let's see how he fares in the second part coming up right now. Kronos and Massa battling it out for the lead. Zach coming back in the fray, coming back on form. He uh, formed currently only third place in the overall rankings. Meanwhile, Dutchy with a really good line. He is able to retake the lead, but Extra with more speed will snipe him at the line with a 45.945. Extra first, Dutchy second, Kronos third, Massa fourth, Pack, Danik B, Zach, and Mixmod in top eight. 64th players? There isn't 64 players, chat. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem. There are only 46 players in the server. So we're currently seeing, uh, we're currently going to give a little bit of a spectate to Space. Currently in uh, 46 and last place on the server with 1152 points to his credit. And so far he is remaining within the group right now, even though he's not really uh, making some moves. And he does the pinball. Bye bye goes space. Meanwhile, towards the front, Hugo, as I click him on the CP live, he has made a mistake, full stop pick, and he drops out of the contention as well. So, meanwhile, it's Cap and Sisiman battling it out for the lead. Sisiman in first place, Cap second, and Neuro and Danik B battling it out for third. We also got, uh, let's see, we also got Dutchy in the fray as well as Magorian. So, yeah, we got a lot of really great people coming in here. Magorian getting wheeled in by Dutchy, but will the final drift make a difference? Will Dutchy be able to snipe him? No. Magorian will resist and will cross the line in first place. With a 49 point, with a 45, sorry, 0 0.920. Magorian first, Dutchik second, Noro third, Cap, of, uh, Cap fourth, sorry, Danik B, Kronos, Zach, and Angelo in top eight. Round number 12 of round number, uh, round number 12 of this particular match is about to get underway. Round four out of four. On map number three, the final round on Cosmicro underway. Gato getting the whole shot of the CP1. Shy just behind him, but look at how he's sliding, slipping back into the fray right now. Although he's still remaining in the, uh, into the group, he's gonna see the big dogs trying to scoot by as much as possible. Meanwhile, it is Dovi, who currently is in the lead in front of Masa with a bit of a dodgy landing, though. He will get dropped down to the depths of 26th position, and thus it is Masa and Pack inheriting the first and second positions, respectively. Coco, Cap, and Hugo de Sama, a French trio right now, currently at the pursuit of these, of these guys, along with Danny B and Kronos in the mix as well. Kronos emerging in P3, potentially overtaking Pack and Masa over the final corner. Watch out! Kronos with much more speed than both of them! No! The landing will Cuck him and Pack will emerge in the lead with a 45.883. Really nice time by Pack here. Masa second, Kronos third, Sky fourth, Cap, Danik B, Zach, and Extra in top eight. Sixty-four players on this server. Top thirty-eight, top forty-eight goes through. Top thirty-two uh, is uh, for the next round. Um, it's for the next round and uh, the round after. Um, yeah, Costo. So, on to map number four we go, which is going to be Aftermath by Nevermind and Beat. Local record held by Tween here with a 49.722. A run that he actually posted on his Twitter, funnily enough. Hello, Tong Zewe. Thank you very much for tuning in. And thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, Split, for the follow. Thank you very much. Sorry if I missed some of those follows. Yeah, take a look at the bracket for yourself with exclamation mark bracket in chat. Meanwhile, a quick recap of the scores after 12 rounds. Masa first with 4870, Zack second with 4768. Really nice comeback from Zack on this uh, previous map. Magorian third with 4712, Kronos fourth with 4605, uh, Dunchy fifth with 4544, Neuro sixth with 4535, Pack seventh with 4504, Extra eighth with 4378. Danik B9 with 4360 and Sky 10th with 4185. In the top 20, we have In Lava, Mixmod Cap, Angelo, Lighty, Vivic, Coco, Neodim, Dragon, and Shy. So, after a rather poor second map, Zeke, uh, Zach, that we currently see chilling against the guardrail right here, has managed to score some vital points and re emerge back into the second place spot right now. Now, even though the top 40 passes through, it's still good to have a. Um, 
to have the uh, moral victory right here from um, to have the uh, moral uh, confidence boost of getting a really good placing. So Sazak in second place, and he's less, he's around 100 points ahead, uh, around 100 points away from Masa only. So, and everything can happen in Trackmania, and change in point scoring can change really quickly. Round number 13, underway with Masa being our driver for this round. At least the start of it. Already see someone making a mistake and dropping down. We got CP1 already devoured and Tonk has got the whole shot after CP number one. Meanwhile, Dovi is in the front, in front of Magorian and Kronos. Magorian uh, emerging in the front right now, in front of Pack. Pack in the in the thick of the field right now with someone going a little bit wide and touching the outside wall. That's going to be game over. Meanwhile, it is Sky and Magorian battling down for the field in front of Contact, uh, in front of Contact Count, in front of Hugo de Soma. Sorry, I was a little bit of a canyon rapid here. Sky and Magorian still in first and second. Extra coming into the battle in third place for Team TH. See. Then we got Pack and Mixmod battling it out for fourth place. Mixmod getting swarmed by everyone else with Massa coming back to the fray as well. Will Massa be able to make something without the leaders? I don't think so. Currently it's a battle for third place with Pack and Ugolza Sama as well as Extra. Magorian will snipe Sky to the finish and he will get the round win with a 50.6.062. Sky second, Pack third, Kronos fourth, Massa, Mixmod, Extra, and Ugolza Sama in top eight. And Zach unfortunately did not really score all that many points and he will drop down to P6 in the overall rankings as a result of that mistake. Meanwhile, Masa is still holding steadfast in the lead. And meanwhile, he has a hundred points, less than a hundred points of an advantage to Magorin in second place. Magorin scoring some big points right here for this particular round, and he's able to get into the live fight for the lead with someone getting a really huge bug towards the inside of the corner, and thus he will be out of the picture. Meanwhile, it's Masa and Zach in first and second. Can Zach actually hold it together this time around and avoid making a mistake to continue scoring some big points to get back up to the rankings? Meanwhile, it's Sky and Masa in first and second, a German duo in France with Dovi touching the outside wall, Angelo emerging in P3, Kronos also getting into the mix, potentially overtaking Angelo for P3, not yet, although yeah, Danik B is still in there, currently in P4 right now, let's actually see if he's able to make anything about the players, Massa and Sky still battling it out for the lead, it seems as though the battle behind is not going to be able to be um, close enough, and Massa will get the upper edge over Sky, who gets overtaken by Danik B in the end, Massa with a 50.022 in first place, Danik B second, Sky third, Magor in fourth, Kronos, Mixmod, Zack, and Cap in the top eight. Danik B is currently in fifth position with 5,200 points as a result of round number 14. Currently, it is Massa who still holds the lead with this time 143 points to his credit. Hello, Malakoff. Hello, Sven, by the way. Thank you very much for joining in. So, currently seeing the leader having a little bit of a uh, time traveling experience, so a little bit of a lag spike here, but it's still all good for the German player from Team Berlin International Gaming. Dennis Lutz is still remaining strong in shape, currently holding the lead in front of Danik B and Dutchie in third place. Meanwhile, Coco tries to make something happen, trying to keep up with the big boys, and he's holding really well. He's currently outside of the top 10, it seems for the moment, so let me actually check in the scoreboard, uh, not, he's not in the top 10 anymore, so he's going to try to uh, climb back up the rankings into said top 10 to actually get a little bit of confidence boost, meanwhile it's Nasa and Sky in first and second, Coco in third place, Coco making some really good inroads, but Ugo de Sama is also waiting to bounce, he hits the outside, Pooh, and also Danik B failing, and thus it will be Masa who inherits the win in front of Coco with a 49.988, nice time by Masa in first place, Coco second, Sky third, extra fourth, Cap, Kronos, Dachi, and Magorian in top 8. So, round number 16, the last round on Aftermath by Nevermind and Beats is underway. We're spectating yet again Coco, the Frenchman formerly of Oserve Esport. Currently after CP1, it is Masa who gets the whole shot. Hamasa still remaining in the lead after CP2, currently battling it out with his compatriot Sky from Team Team uh, Japanese Heroes Europe with a little bit of a life spite again for Dennis, but it's still fine, still remaining in the lead in front of Sky by just 17 thousandths of a second, but Pack, 2016 world champion, remember Thomas Cole, is currently trying to uh, reel Masa in and potentially trying to take the lead right now, but there are other people waiting to follow in his footsteps with Danik B in first hand, but Mark Pack gets the first, uh, is the first to take the lead away from Masa. Masa going really wide, trying to get as much speed as he can at the exit of the corner, and it seems as though he's paid off, he's reeling in Pack slowly but surely, will be able to overtake him, Pack is now neck and neck with Masa, it's gonna be up to the finish to the side, ooh, Masa with a bit of a lag spike, but Pack will be able to retain the lead by just one hundredth of a second, 49.985 for Pack in the end, even faster than Masa in the previous round, Pack first, Masa second, Zack third, extra fourth, Danik Bima, Goran Sky and Dutchie in the top eight.
And so on to the final map of round number one, which is going to be... So yeah, it's another duo map and I uh, completely forgot the name of it. I'm a freaking dingus. It is going to be Pretpal by Solia and Zykos. There we go. Got it right. Thank you for the goddamn notes that I have still laying around. So, local record heal held by... Uh, heal? Here, may, um, held by Masa with a 49.655. Hello, Joey! Quick score recap after 16 rounds, heading into the four final rounds of round number one. Masa in first place with 67.80. Magori in second with 64.92. Kronos third with 60.62. Dextra fourth with 60.53. Sky fifth with 59.95. Uh, Dutchy sixth with 59.49. Zach seventh with 59.23. Danik B eighth with 58.95. Neuro nine with 58.75. And Pack tenth with 58.44. In the top 20, we have Mixmod, Cap, Inlava, Angelo, Coco, Neodim, Shy, Vivek, Lighty, and Rodeur. So, Zach, uh, Eve, after uh, having an up and down, uh, pretty up and down uh, round, he's currently finding himself in seventh place with 59.23. And he's well at risk of being outside of that top eight ranking right here. Danik B could potentially overtake him. He's not that far away, around th uh, less than 30 points away from Zach in seventh place. Then we got Dutchie also waiting uh, to. Um, Potentially be overtaken by Danik B. Danik B could potentially make some really good inroads and try to climb up a few spots right here in the um, in the match live ranking. Although Masa seems as though he's going to be pretty much uncatchable if he even well unless mistakes happen. But we know the fear of winning can still strike strike in Trackmania. Anything can happen, and it usually does. Remember, good luck, have fun. The four final rounds of round number one about to get underway, and we're going to be spectating Sky from Team Trackmania Heroes Europe. At the whole shot, it's going to be Sky. No, no it's Euro for seven thousandths of a second. Who will get it equal? And uh, Sky will be equal with Lighty in the sec B. Then we got Dragon also emerging in the lead so far. The pack still retaining, remaining fairly tight right now. It seems as though we still got Masa in the wings as well in second place. But he clips the inside, and thus he will be out of the uh, he will be out of the running right now for the lead. Although the Zetings have got a little bit of a moment there, and uh, yeah, that was a bit of an impressive one to see. But Masa is well and truly out of the picture for this one. Meanwhile, it is Magorian in first place, pack second, extra in third place. We got also got Kozo from Team. Astro in P4. No, he touches the outside wall. He will be out of the contention. Meanwhile, Magorian and Pack still in first and second. Pack trying to reel Magorian in, trying to make something happen, trying to overtake him, going really one on the exit. Will he be able? No, full stop pick for Pack. That's done for the 2016 World Champion. Magorian will be able to clear the jump, and he will cross the line with a 50.122 in first place. Then second, Sky third, makes one fourth, extra Chronos, Dragon, and Hugo 220 will be in top eight. Rap God. Yeah. <laughs> Bonk, yeah, that's a that was a huge bonk for uh for a for a small clip for Masa, but a huge bonk for Pack. Yeah, unfortunate for him. And thus we have a lead change with Magorian getting into the lead, just shy of seven thousand points collected. Masa has fell down to second, but he's still within seventy points of Magorian. So still everything can happen here, and it will usually do for Masa if he is able to keep his head cold and keep uh on pounding the right no uh, the right number of um number of rounds. Meanwhile, Danik B and Pack in first and second. Masa getting back into the top three fray. Danik B and Pack still first and second. Magorin still holding steady in fourth place. We also got, uh, let's see, this is Kennedy Dutchie in, in fifth place, trying to overtake Danik B. He will not be able to do so for now. Let's actually see if he's able to make it stick in the next corner. Yes, he will. In P4 he goes, potentially P3 by Magorin. No, the dunding was actually kind of uh, was a kinda, uh, dodgy for Dutchie. Meanwhile, Pack is still in the lead. Could Masa make something happen towards the finish line? No. Pack will be the winner with a 49 Point eight eight five, Pack first, Masa second, Margorian fourth, Dutchie third, Dutchie fourth, Danik B extra, Zach and Ben in top eight. PP overheat. I absolutely love this emote, man. <laughs> Hello, Prime Entity, by the way. Thank you for thank you for joining in. Hello, what the fuck deluxe? This penultimate round is underway and we're gonna be spectating. Let's actually see who we spectate. We're gonna be spectating Kronos, the French driver, currently in fourth place overall with 6832. And currently he's sewing in uh, sixth place right now as a result of that CP, still remaining in the thick of the action and holding it up, uh, slugging it out with Masa and Pack, and most notably with Dragon, also really doing good. The player from Team 300 still currently in the battle for the lead, potentially. Pack and Ben in second and third. We got Danny being there, but there, Dragon gets swarmed in both. 
Zack and as well Dutchie, they will get all the bunk right here and they will get absolutely crushed to death. Meanwhile, Danik B and Ben in first and second, Cap in third, and then we got Ugo to solve in fourth. Can Ugo make something happen? He's currently battling now for potentially second place here with Cap in second, Ben in third, Danik B slowing down. Will this be a snipe at the line? Watch out for Cap! And it will be Danik B still emerging in the lead with the 50.012. Danik B first, Cap second, Ben third, Hugo the Salon fourth, Extra, Gap, Nero, and Lighty in the top eight. Hello Saki, hello Pinda, hope you're doing good. And yet final round of round number one, here we go, round number 20 on this particular qualification round, here we go. Masa still in second place. This time it looks as though he will not be able to catch Magorian in, in first place. 77-1-12 for Magorian in first place. Meanwhile, Masa is in the lead of this round, but he is currently being, swar being swarmed potentially by Cap Sky, Danik B, and also Zach. Zach still remaining in the right zone so far. Let's hope he does not pull a bunk in this particular corner right here. Zach going through. He's able to make it. Oh, there's a slight clip. That's going to cost a little bit for him. He's still in the top five battle, though. It's Sky, Cap, Danik B, uh, Masa and Zach in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Danik B and Masa battling it out for the lead right now. In comes the final part of the race right now. Danik B going the inside. It's going to be an F for Danik B. Masa inherits the lead in front of Sky. Battling it out with Zach. Zach in second place. And it will be Sky eventually managing to get into second place. Masa wins with a 49.958. Sky second, Zach third, Cap fourth, Dutchy extra, Ben and Angelo complete your top eight. And round one of the Century Solotec is done. In the end, it is Magorian A who gets the most points, 80-97 for Magorian in first place, Masa second with 80-51, and Extra third with 77-73. Masa and Magorian are the only two players to make it past the 8,000 points barrier.